friends. Today we are going to begin with a white piece of paper and we are going to start by folding it like a book in half. So hamburger fold, match your corners up and hold the paper with one hand, press with the other hand, creasing down, pressing firmly, creasing up pressing firmly. The second step is to fold your paper down. So take the top and fold it to the bottom. Our hamburger fold. Hold the paper and press to the left, press to the right, firmly creasing the paper. And our last fold is going to be from the left to the right, another book fold and it'll just be smaller. So. I put one hand and I hold it here to help the paper know where to fold. And then I press it down when I might match it up. Sometimes you have to pull these top and bottom parts so that it will crease properly. And then just put your weight on it if you need to stand up. Sometimes that helps to stand up. And then you get more force and momentum to crease that last line. When you're done with these three folds, you can open it back up and you should have a total of eight boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If it's helpful for you to separate those boxes, feel free to take a pencil and trace along those lines that you crease. So there's a line in the middle, then there's a line coming down, vertical one, vertical two, and vertical three. Make sure you turn your paper over Put your name on your paper with a one for first grade and a D for decan. Then flip your paper over again where those boxes are and pick two colors. I'm going to choose violet and indigo. And I'm just gonna do a simple design of Diagonal lines with space in between. If you make a mistake, just try your best to try to fix the mistake. And then I'm gonna do broken lines in between. Make sure you press down firmly with the oil pastels just so that they show up nice and bright. And in my next box, I'm going to choose light blue and navy blue. And I'm going to do a zigzag pattern. Every other. You can decide what kinds of patterns you want. There are those hanging sheets of different kinds of lines throughout the room. On each wall, there should be one that will help give you ideas for your own patterns. Just remember, patterns take turns and you need to be consistent with the same pattern. So you shouldn't have multiple patterns going on in your paper at the same time. Now I'm going to choose green and I'm going to do a zigzag on an angle here. And then I'll choose Kelly green to go in between and I'll make little triangles in these spaces. I'm just getting one. And if I can, I'm going to fill inside these one more time with the lime green or the yellow green. And then I'm gonna move on to my next box. And then my next box, I'm going to choose red and I'm going to do a swirl pattern. This is actually a red orange. And I'm going to take the yellow orange and I'm going to do it the other way next to it. 
<coughs> Excuse me. And then on my bottom line, I'm gonna choose magenta. And I think I'll do indigo again. Actually, I'll try white. White will actually show up. And I'm just gonna do a line that's horizontal of each of these repeating. You can't see the white right now, but next week when we come back to paint these, you will see it. So I'm just gonna leave some space in between for those white lines. One, two, three. Okay, now that that one's done, maybe I can try gold and black. And I'm gonna do diagonal lines. And then in the opposite direction, I'm gonna do diagonal lines going the other way. And then next, I think I will do silver. And I'm going to do a curvy line. Skip a space. And I think I'll repeat that with black again, just because I like how that turned out. Four. And then I'm gonna go with a green, mint green and forest green for my last one. And I think for this one, I will do a wave line. with just ovals and then a wave. Ovals, as long as you have a pattern, you can decide what you want your pattern to be. You could do dots with dash marks. You get to choose. And then just make sure you double check to see you have your name on the back. Next week, we will be painting these. Hope you have a good time learning about the work of Eric Carle and creating your own design to paint.